Have a great day, guys. Hello guys, it's Sebastian and welcome back to my channel And I realized that I haven't been like going out with you guys for the past few videos And so for today, that's what we would be exactly doing because we would be going out So actually we would be going to Hobbitat As what the name implies, it is a Hobbit inspired like Echo Park here in La Union And so yeah, we would be going there It is already currently 4.29 in the afternoon And it's actually still super duper hot if you guys can see But basically Wait, my closet is open. So yeah, it's actually been a really long time since the last time we did like public vlogging or we went outside. So I'm just super duper excited for the day. For the fit check, I would be doing it real quick. For the top, I'm just wearing this one that my grandma gave me. It just says the Golden State California. And for my pants, I'm wearing this one that I did during my February vlog. This is a DIY. If you guys didn't know that yet, if you guys haven't watched my February vlog yet, at least you guys know now and so for my shoes i feel like i would just be wearing my alpha bounce which you guys have also seen in my video last week which is my shoe collection so yeah i'll be bringing you guys with me today i'm just again super duper excited actually earlier today we had a quiz at like 12 30 to 1 30 so it's just good for an hour and then it was posted late like 12 32 onwards or something and then i was on the last page which i didn't know that was already the last page kind of like 12 59 or approaching 1 pm and then i thought i clicked on the next page but turns out it is the submit button already <laughs> that's why i still have like plenty of time i was not able to check my answers but yeah just a quick story of what happened earlier today during my quiz but yeah now that i'm done with the requirements it is time to kind of like relax unwind feel that's what we would be doing so off to habitat we go i still need to recover from my another love or would you be here for me never met your parents not even your mother but let's see where this leads what should we Hello guys, so as you all know, it's kind of been like a while. If you guys can hear the car noises, I'm sorry for that. But it's actually been a while since the last time that we went out. Or like just relaxed in a way. And this also feels good just because for the past few weeks, I literally have been working non-stop. Even though Sundays I would be editing a video, on Saturdays I would have a quiz every Saturday. And I would also be needed to film a video every Saturday. It's just been so kind of overwhelming things, you know. And this feels good to just be able to kind of also restart and breathe and just experience life for what it is and yeah we also took pictures as what you guys have seen earlier and yeah just a random brain dump and i hope you are also just you know taking breaks every now and then also just because we need it and burnouts are things that could not just be fixed with just a solid eight hour sleep after a hectic hectic week or day or month even it's something that takes process and i hope we never forget that we are human so also need to rest every now and then so yeah here's just a small reminder to also take a step back and recalibrate what your next step should be where it should lead to so that it would be better for us in the long run i don't know what i'm even saying so yeah i probably would be going to our car now because it's getting kind of also late as well it's currently 5 37 pm already and so yeah i'll just see you guys again next time Hanging out, we 
So today is currently the 17th of March already. It's already 5.42 in the afternoon. So today is a Thursday. And so the last time you guys have seen me, we actually went to La Familia to dinner with my grandpa and my grandma and also my cousin. And so after that, we went to their house in hopes that my dad's old pets would still be there because, you know, he was a huge Levi's guy. I mean, he is because he still is a huge Levi's guy. We thought that it would be good to like have his old hands. No, because his waistline then and my waistline now is kind of similar. However, however, none of his pads are there anymore. But I ended up having these pile of clothes anyway, which I'm super duper happy about. And so that is what I would be doing a haul of right now. So we would first be starting with the bottom down. So this is the first one that we got. This is from my cousin. It is in the brand Sahara. And so I feel like this would be good for like clearing situation going on like you would just wear a plain white tee inside and leave this open. I feel like that would be like a super duper good chill outfit. You know, like the flannel stuff on trend right now. This is not long sleeves though, but I feel like I could fold this one to make it look like it is long sleeves that's been folded. So <laughs> that is a trick for you guys. And I also like the colors in this polo because if you were to have like a more neutral colored fit, this would add like the needed pop of color. So that's what I really like about this one. And for the next button down, it's also in the same style almost. And it is just in another color and print. And it is still from Sahara. It just has much darker colors in it. And the scale of the patterns is just a lot, 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 lot smaller. But yeah, same is through with the first button down. What I would definitely be doing with this one is I would be layering this on top of a white tee or I don't know, whatever I'm feeling to wear that day. I feel like this would just add that nice touch of something instead of just wearing plain white shirt. So for the next two items that we have here, these are actually sweatpants. And I would be needing this so much whenever I would already be in Baguio because of how you know cold the weather is. So this I could wear in my apartment. I don't know where I'd be living there. We actually haven't been to Baguio to search for a place where I would be staying in. Just because I feel like we would already be having our face-to-face -face classes on August already. But we would be having our short-term still online classes, I feel like. And I hope that I could bring you guys with me during those times. I'm just super duper excited. So this is the first sweatpants that we have. It is in the classic color of sweatpants, which is in the gray. And it has this lining detail on the side, which I super duper like. I feel like whether you're staying in or going out on a rather chill day, you could wear these either way which is super duper like it's super duper versatile and yeah inside it has that like kind of thick fabric which gives you that extra warm whenever you'd be on much colder places so this is definitely a thing that i would be needing in magazine whenever i'd already be going out for the second one this is from john smith John Smith and it is just in this color navy blue. I think this is more of a jogging pants as compared to a sweatpants but I still like it. The cloth is giving me kind of like varsity type of fabric and my camera is blinking at me. Okay so I am back. I just changed my battery real quick. For the last three remaining items I'm super duper happy about this. Like super duper happy. You guys have literally no idea how happy I am with these stuff. So I got three jackets over here. They're all denim jackets, which I super duper like. Are they still on trend? That I do not know, but do I still like them? And would I still wear them? Definitely yes. So this is the first pair of denim jackets that I got. This is from the brand Rhino. It is in the size medium. And this is more of kind of like on the darker side of denim, which is actually super duper good because I don't have a denim jacket yet that is in this exact wash. So I super duper like it. It's kind of like almost leaning into the edgy side of pants or like the rustic wash. I don't know. I, I'm not really familiar with the names of the washes. And I also like the fit and like the contrast stitching as well. And blah, blah, blah. That is it for the first pair of denim jacket. Let's move on to the next one so you guys would not be bored. I'll be moving on to the next jeans. It's kind of like this. Wash. I don't know what you call this type of wash. It's kind of like acid wash. Is this what you call an acid wash? I do not know. When the sun would be hitting a swimming pool, this would be 
the reflection so i don't have like a better way on how to explain that one but that's definitely the explanation i feel like and this on the other hand is oh yeah i got this one from my cousin and i also like the oversized fit of it on me definitely something that would spice up your outfit if you're wearing a, like kind of more in just white or planes that day this would incredibly work well as a statement jacket which i super duper like and yeah i cannot get over with this jacket i super duper like it it's also incredibly thick so it would surely be giving me a lot of room for warmth whenever I would be in Baguio already. So that is it for the second to last pair of jacket or for the second to the last pair of clothing in this part of my March vlog which is the clothing haul. So the last one I guess we had to see. Oh no, I guess I've already seen it. This is a denim jacket. Again, another denim jacket. However, it's just in the color tan or cream or khaki. This is from Giordano and it is in the size small but I still like the fit of it. It's also giving somewhat kind of like oversized fit even though it is already in the size small. And yeah, everything about this jacket I just super duper like. I literally have no words for it. <laughs> and definitely something that you would see me guys wearing in Baguio pretty soon whenever I'd already be there. For the past few minutes somehow I've just been mentioning of how I would be using all this whenever I'd be in Baguio already but that's just reality for me now. In just a few months, I would already live in Baguio. So this background and everything, it would be a lot to adjust to definitely, but I'm excited for it. You know, God accept change. So with that, no, I actually have one more item here. So for the last one is this fedora cup. Actually, this is from Ted Baker. It is also from my cousin. I haven't tried wearing these like for my whole life, but would this be something I would be wearing pretty soon? I don't know. Does it suit me? I don't know. But I feel like there would be a time in my life where I would want to wear this one. And yeah, I also like the color play on the band of the fedora hat, if you guys can see. And so that wraps up my clothing haul and of course this March of vlogs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. And also comment down other video suggestions that you would like to see me do next. And of course, again, I would like to thank my grandpa, my grandma, my cousin for all of these stuff and just super duper happy I have more now. And this week has actually been like super duper stressful and I hope you guys are also, you know, finding time to rest even though it's quite impossible at times. But yeah, I hope that you know you need to also like take a step back and just breathe and yeah. And yeah, so basically this is where the video ends. This has been Sebastian and I hope that we could spread love a little more often. I'll see you next week. Stay safe. What did I do with my hands there? Stay safe. Anyway, you always stay safe. <laughs>